Hi, I'm Brianna, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? Well, this is some pretty good news. The Olympic silver medalist Shakur Stevenson is taking a big step up in competition and he's doing it early against the very talented Christopher Diaz. Christopher Diaz, he was looked at as one of the best rising stars coming out of Puerto Rico. He just suffered his first loss last year when he stepped up in weight and fought against Masayuki Ito, which was candidate for fight of the year. It was a great fight. Uh, he lost a unanimous decision to Ito, and now he's moving back down to 126, and he's going to face Shakur Stevenson. Diaz, he bounced back from that loss. He just came off of a first-round knockout. Now, he was originally scheduled to face Jesse Magdaleno next, which would have been a good fight, until ESPN offered him the Shakur Stevenson fight, which provided more money. We just seen prospect Teofimo Lopez step up in competition for the first time against Diego Magdaleno, and he looked really impressive. Now we have Shakur Stevenson taking an even bigger step up in competition against Christopher Diaz. We often see other prospects that have around the same amount of fights, but they're not ready to step up in competition like this. You'll hear fans say, well, you know, it's not up to the fighter, it's the promoter. The promoter doesn't want to put him in the ring with someone that dangerous right now. So what that tells us is when it comes to Shakur Stevenson, not only does Shakur Stevenson have confidence that he can fight the best fighters right now, but his promotional company, they have confidence that he's just that good. So when you have a young fighter who has the same amount of fights as a T.O., or uh, Shakur Stevenson and they don't want to put him in a ring that's because they don't have the confidence that he's that good yet and sometimes even the fighter doesn't have the confidence that he can fight on that level that clearly a Shakur Stevenson and Teofimo Lopez are ready to fight on so Shakur is definitely on the fast track he really wants to prove that he's the best he said he wants to fight for a title this year and I just want to emphasize on fast track once again you guys have to remember Shakur Stevenson he didn't go to the Olympics twice like a Guillermo Rigo or a Lomachenko he only went once so for American standards this is an early step up in competition the fight kind of reminds me of Javante Tank Davis going up against Jose Pedraza in fact I remember fans were saying that Tank wasn't ready for Pedraza. Diaz might be better than Pedraza. I mean, he can fight on the inside, he can fight on the outside, he has tremendous speed, he has pop. This is going to be a good fight. These are the best fights in the sport of boxing. Once again, when fighters, when they step up in competition for the very first time, because then we really find out how good they are. A lot of, every prospect looks good against C-level D-level opponents. I mean, we've seen a lot of undefeated prospects get exposed when they stepped up in competition, and we've seen a lot rise to the occasion. Let's see what Shakur does with this opportunity. By the way, he's in training camp with Terrence Crawford, and he'll be fighting on that card, on that Crawford versus Amir Khan card. Great addition to that card. I'm going to go and wrap this video up. That's all I got for now, guys. Hey, make sure if you guys are actually taking your training serious and you're looking to improve your defense, because we all know defense is one of the most important attributes in the sport of boxing. Your defense, your head movement, your rhythm, your coordination, you guys need to cop the Focus Balls. Go to thefocusballs.com, that's with an S, and you guys can cop one. Not only will it help you in all those categories, but it's a great way to support your boy, Dante's Boxing Nation by buying one. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one.